Hi Tristan. Where are you? <laughs> I'm at the top of my hill. You're definitely not at the top of my hill. I was very, very late. Uh, should we go? Should we go over the bridge? I'll wait here for two minutes. All right, see you in a second. Sorry, Tristan. It's two days in a row I've done that to you. Yeah. Could you hear that? As well? Yeah. Uh, anyway, what I was, what I was actually going to say was, when you go for a ride, there's a few simple things that I always do because it was taught to me when I was quite young by someone in the Netherlands. It little checks over your bike. Like you pick it up, you bounce it around, you spend every last second. He was a bike shop owner, and he was talking about the delivery of bikes to customers, either after a service or when they were brand new. You're constantly checking the bike for rattles, things that are loose, making sure that everything is ready for the customer to ride. But it's the same when you go out on your bike as well. So you want to grab the brakes, you want to be pushing on the bars, making sure that nothing's rotating in a way that it shouldn't. Grabbing hold of the saddle, making sure that everything is tight, just you know, spinning through the gears, that sort of thing. You're basically trying to touch every single contact point, every moving part, every part of your bike that could be adjusted potentially, tightened, loosened, that sort of thing. Even rattling your bottle cages, obviously I don't have them on, but doing that will give you confidence that when you get on your bike, the wheels, things like that, grabbing them. And it doesn't matter if you've got disc brakes or rim bike, in or rim brakes, doing these little checks before you ride every single time, is just gonna give you that much more confidence in your equipment. You cannot believe what having a good level of confidence in your equipment will do for your ride and the enjoyment you're gonna get out of that ride. Just pushing on the brakes, you know, pulling the front brake on, putting the back brake on, making sure everything's biting, everything's just working. And yeah, I focus on things like the controls, the brakes, the headset, the steering, things like that. Just grabbing the front wheel between your legs because they're the important bits. The rest, the gears, you can ride in one gear if you really, really have to, but you need to make sure the bits that could potentially save your life are secure and they're ready to go. Same with the tires, you're just spinning them around in your hands, checking them over. It's the same on a road bike or on a gravel bike. It's the end of the week, so we're going out for a little Friday evening spin. Little things like that make a huge difference to how much you're going to get out of riding your bike peace of mind you're going to have when you're on your bike and ultimately the enjoyment of that ride. It's going to prevent you having a, not a catastrophe or a disaster, but it's just going to prevent mechanicals. Just listening for rattles, like I know that's a rattle in the lever because the springs are there. But if that was a, a rattle perhaps from the bearing, you could hear like a dull thud. You know that you're going to need to adjust that before you get rolling. And now we're going out for a little evening spin because Alex has bought a drone. So he wanted us to, well, didn't want us to dress in vibrant colours, but I've done it anyway. And we're gonna go down and see if he can fly it. It's meant to track us. So the idea is that it follows us through the trails. It should be quite good fun, I think, anyway. It's because I was adjusting the pressures, my girl. <laughs> and then you don't close them. No, do. <laughs> if I If I edit the video, that's definitely going in. I think somebody secretly really wants a gravel bike. Big bike. Okay. Probably best not to film any we're debating if that's doable on a gravel bike. Of course it is, it's just no fun whatsoever. So here's the mountain bikes doing it instead. Oh, you've done it much better than I did. That's annoying. Oh, you've taken the shortcut. Now back to the top. Really cool that. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind, but. Good season then. But this is what we're here for. Alex's drone, really. I think I can work out how to unfold it. Which he's bought off the internet. Second hand? Second hand. Second hand. Not off the internet, actually. Oh, sorry. Off some person in Hale. A real life human being. A real life human being. Where does it go after that? And then Tristan comes and runs over the drone. That was close, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not doing this. What the hell is it doing? I'd rather not test them again. No. Just assume they've worked. They've done what they were meant to do. Check me here. I just need some sort of thing to <laughs> Again, like, with bike I'm not actually around this weekend. I'm off in London riding a contraption, which I've ridden before, and I'm very much looking forward to showing you on video next week. So hopefully you find that interesting. That's it, simple pre-ride checks that just mean most of the time it'll be trouble-free, hassle-free. At least you've done the most you can to prevent something happening. And then when you get back, run through them again in reverse order to make sure that nothing's rattled loose and changed. Next time you get to get on your bike, it'll be just as good as before. I'm off to catch a train. See you next week.